You know, when I was a kid growing up in the 80s and 90s, I remember so many, so many programs that you used to watch. Little House on the Prairie, The Waltons, TJ Hooker, Star Trek. The list goes on and on and on, all classics. And the actors that you actually uh, look at and, you know, perceive in these programs, you either love them or hate them, and you associate the character they play with them in real life, and it's not always the case. For instance, you take Michael Landon. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Tuesday evening. Hope you're doing all right. If you haven't done so already, can you do me a favour and please subscribe to the channel? You can do that by hitting the button underneath the notification bell so you know what we're up to. And give the video a like as well. Well, yeah, Michael Landon. I read this interesting thing earlier. Michael Landon uh, played Pa Ingalls in Little House on the Prairie. Uh, Charles Ingalls, I think his actual name was. And he went on to do a, a series with Victor French called Highway to Heaven, where he played uh, an angel kind of stuck in between here and there, going around trying to change people's lives for the better. All very wholesome, all very nice characters. And people fell in love with Michael Landon and thought he was absolutely wonderful. And he, of course, passed away from cancer in 1991. And he's been dead for 30 years. Well, Karen Grassell, who played uh, Ma Ingalls in Little House on the Prairie, has written an autobiography. Now, what she said about Michael Landon doesn't come as a great surprise to me. It's not a slant on his character whatsoever. The reason it doesn't come as a great surprise to me is because you're literally talking about another era where equality and all this sort of thing was just a, a non-existent thing. And people's behaviour was maybe of a different calibre to what we expect now and things that happen now uh, we would be horrified by if the things from the 70s caught up with now and you know Michael Landon from what I read liked to smoke liked to drink uh, he was quite outrageous uh, with some of his behaviour and his joke telling this is this is all stuff that I read and by her, by her own admission, Karen Grassell had her own demons too with the old... She's uh, made that quite clear in the news reports that I've read. So there's nothing there that's slanderous. It's all fact that's come out of the mouth of those key players that were there. And uh, one of the other actresses has actually uh, come and backed up what Karen Grassell has said. You know, Michael Landon was basically a freaking nightmare. He uh, he was mad on set, and a far cry from the uh, you know humble, wholesome character that he portrayed, Charles Ingalls. Now, my question is: Should this happen today? You know, we we have these actors that have been dead and buried for all these years. Natalie Wood's sister is another one who's brought out a book uh, or bringing out a book, and she she makes a reference to something Kurt Douglas did in there. Again, somebody that's been passed away for years. I'm not passing judgment either way. I'm asking you, is it right? Should these people make these comments in these books or should they be dealt with privately and resolved privately, either in their own conscience or with the person involved if they're still here? It's a very interesting topic to me. And also on top of that, you have to think, is it all about this? Who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But as I said, I'm not overly surprised, purely because of the time period involved. Don't forget to subscribe, as I said, give the video a like, and I'll see you with one more. Toodaloo!